I want to touch upon the recent earthquakes first, and then I want to look ahead to the activity building in the Caribbean and even a look ahead into June as we work our way into the hurricane season. So thank you for hanging with me. Let's get a look at the uh, earthquake we had Sunday evening. This was 5.5 in magnitude, uh, felt near Grenada, Trinidad and uh, Tobago, and Venezuela. It felt pretty significantly, no signs of any damage or anything like that. It was followed up very early yesterday morning with a 4.5 in magnitude after shock. Sometimes you get some earthquakes after uh, more of a main earthquake. So, uh, and usually they're a little bit less. They're, they're aftershocks 4.5 in magnitude. Just know that I'm watching this area near St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, and Venezuela very carefully for any additional activity. And I'll keep you up to date right here on this channel. And again, thank you for taking the time to subscribe. Let's get a look at what we have going on here. Here is that spin that we've had over toward the Southeast U.S. I'll get to that in just a second. That's even bringing and some rain to the northern Bahamas. We've had some rain overnight, some moisture still near Guyana and Suriname, and then we'll keep an eye on the eastern Pacific for the possibility of some development, although that development chance is getting lower and lower. But look at this spin here, southeast U.S. Overnight, I've been watching some severe weather, even some tornado warnings that have been issued for parts of the Outer Banks of North Carolina just as this moisture feeds in over toward the northern Bahamas. Even the chance of a couple water spouts possible, that would be a uh, potential of a tornado over water. That'll be a possibility, at least for the next few hours. Uh, watching over toward uh, Freeport, for example, extreme uh, northern Bahamas for that chance of some rain and some thunderstorms, and even that potential of some severe weather. We'll be watching that at least in the first half of the day. Things bubbling up again near Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, and still watching out for some showers that have been near Roatan, uh, kind of coming off the coast, north coast there of Honduras. There's that action near Barbados. We've had some rain just to the east from overnight and early this morning. Now this spot here in the eastern Pacific that I've been watching for the possibility of it becoming Alvin, that chance continues to get lower and lower. None of the models at this point Point are developing it. They are showing a little spin out here. So it is a spot I'll keep an eye on. I'll be watching us in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, just in case anything does spin up on this side. So watching that in the Eastern Pacific. Meanwhile, let's go on time uh, over the next few days. Guyana, Suriname, that rain around and staying active. Costa Rica, Panama, and then off toward uh, the West, as is often the case this time of year. Elsewhere, some spotty showers that will be around. Kind of hit or miss. Haiti, Dominican, or Republic, uh, Dominica, still watching the Northern Bahamas, as I mentioned today, into uh, tomorrow, but hit or miss storms. Puerto Rico, we could get a couple of those, and there's that rain as we work our way into Wednesday near Costa Rica and Panama. This is what I'll be watching just to see if it does spin up a little bit. This here is by the time we get into Thursday, so I'll monitor this spot in here. But while this starts to build a touch, uh, we're gonna see things building in the Eastern Caribbean. We'll start to get some scattered showers lifting up toward uh, Trinidad, and then we'll get a better chance once we get to the end of the week. Look what happens by the time we hit Friday, watching this spin out here. But look at that rain building. The front to the north kind of passes by, it helps feed in moisture. So the DR over toward the British, U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, a higher chance of rain. And then we'll keep an eye in this area, not seeing big signs of anything uh, developing, but this still could become Alvin. So we'll watch out for that. This will shift more to the west. This area will shift to the east, but hang with me for a second. I want to show you a pattern change that we're going to get as we get into the hurricane season. Let's just go on time here. This is by the weekend, the moisture feeding in in the eastern Caribbean because of the front. Now, typically, we start to see uh, things kind of shift a little bit more to the uh, east. But what's going to happen is we're going to start to see our pattern change. This moisture here may get stuck. You see here by Monday, we're still dealing with some rain. And then we may start to see this shifting off to the west. That is a change because we're about to get the tropical waves that march across the Atlantic. Those are kind of disorganized areas of thunderstorms above our heads. And that action starts to work its way off toward the west. And then then we'll watch out for some development. Some, as we work our way into June, I'll show you that in a second, I am going to watch out for some of that rain in the Eastern Caribbean that will slide into the Western Caribbean, and that's where development will be a little bit more likely. And you see it here as well. This is the European model showing this green here on the Eastern Pacific side. This is early in June. Yeah, there could be a spin up on this side, but a little bump up in some of the uh, chances for development in the Western Caribbean. Nothing crazy, right? Uh, nothing uh, alarming, but a third 
30, maybe 40% chance of some development in, here's Jamaica, here's Cuba, in the Western uh, Caribbean. That's because we're going to start to see the tropical waves marching across the Atlantic. And then as they work our way into the uh, Caribbean, they hit our really warm water and there could be a little bit of development. So it is that time of year. I watch very, very closely for any development or at least signs of it as we go forward. And you see, we're about to get into uh, June, which is the official start of the hurricane season. Sometimes you get a, a name storm in May, not seeing signs of that now. But as we get into June, then of course, July, things really start to ramp up for that activity in the uh, hurricane season. Now look at this spin here. This is the one in parts of the United States over toward the mid-Atlantic that has been bringing some heavy rain to parts of the southeast U.S. and clipping by the northern Bahamas. This rain is on the move though, finally kind of shifting off. You see some of the rain that will be close to Bermuda by tomorrow and late tomorrow. But as this shifts off, this is what actually helps drag in some of that moisture in the eastern Caribbean. That weather is really tied together from region to region. You see this area kind of lifting through Bermuda by Thursday. Uh, and then we'll be watching over toward parts of the uh, Midwest, parts of the United States, over toward the Great Lakes. Severe weather potential late in the week. Storms are really going to be popping heads up here. But you can see as this area continues to work near the Atlantic region of Canada, it starts to draw on that moisture. You see by Puerto Rico, there's some of that rain that I was mentioning. So uh, that uh, weather really tied together uh, globally. Now the, uh, the seas are kicking up, not only in the Caribbean are we a little bit choppier, but the Atlantic passageways, heads up on that if you have any uh, interest on the water, uh, anywhere from the uh, Bahamas off toward uh, the east and watching those passageways coming out of the eastern Caribbean, things are going to be a little bit rougher. This is right through the uh, end of the week and you see things bumpier again, running at about two, maybe three meters. So just a heads up uh, for those spots with the elevated seas. Now the rain, the additional rain, we could get clipped by a few inches of rain, still possible this morning, especially in the northern Bahamas, the rain is about to cut off in Florida, which means it's also going to get really hot. This time of year, if we lose the rain, we get super hot. And that's what's going to happen to uh, many of us. Watching out for some spotty storms possible. Still Cuba, a couple around Jamaica, Cayman Islands for us. We'll watch out for that. Totals shouldn't be too high for the most part. Generally 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain or less. Spotty showers and storms. Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. It is going to start to build Puerto Rico back toward the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We need to watch out toward the end of the week, that rain chance really starts to pick up. It'll be scattered, but where we get those downpours, that could give us uh, upwards of about three, maybe four inches of rain, 75 millimeters of rain to 100 millimeters of rain. And watching that as well, things are just simply going to build in the Eastern Caribbean. You see those brighter colors uh, popping up near Dominica, that's showing 100 millimeters of rain. That wouldn't be all at once, but we're talking about some three-day totals. And then we'll see some of that rain near Guyana and Suriname kind of lifting up to the north, feeding in, but still those very very heavy totals still on track for additional flooding parts of Guyana and Suriname as we have been highlighting together and then watching out for some of that as well Costa Rica Panama back through Colombia rain chance just kind of spotty as we work our way near Belize and Honduras as we go over the next few days including uh, Nicaragua uh, Texas we're drying out Louisiana we're drying out much of Mexico on the dry side as this area shifts away and as I mentioned as this shifts away the heat that is going to be building in. So we're looking at about a 50% chance of some scattered showers and storms for us today. And even tomorrow, right across Jamaica, we could get a couple scattered showers around today in the Cayman Islands. After that, our rain chance is going to be lower. About a 40% chance the next couple of days in Trinidad and Tobago. We're up to a 50% chance though by the time we hit Thursday. 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers across Barbados for today. We had a couple the last few days, even a few thunderstorms around uh, Barbados. St. Lucia, we're going to hold on to a 40% chance, a 40 to 50% chance of some scattered showers around Grenada, and a 40 to 50% chance the next three days, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 40% chance today in Martinique, about a 50% chance for tomorrow. And we do that again in Dominica, where we get some of the rain, though, watching out for some of those downpours. Rain chance holding at 50% the next three days in Guadalupe, and the rain chance about 40% Antigua and Barbuda. But again, by the end of the week and the weekend, we'll be watching out for that rain chance going up, a 40% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, so some scattered showers, and about a 30% chance the next couple of days in Guilla and St. Bart's, but down the road 
it is going to get higher. Rain chance stays on the small side today. St. Martin, St. Anastasia building as we get through the uh, end of the week. And we'll see that as well in Puerto Rico. We're up to 50% chance of scattered rain and storms by Thursday. And look at Thursday, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Heads up, we could see some additional flooding. Uh, St. Thomas, St. Croix, uh, Tortola watching out. Uh, St. John watching out for some of that additional flooding. Bahamas, northern Bahamas, as I've been highlighting, are better chance of rain. 20 to 30% chance on the Turks and Caicos. Building by the end of the week in the Dominican Republic, we'll have a better chance of some of those storms that will be around and that possibility of flooding. We'll do that again in Haiti. Thursday and a Friday, scattered areas of rain will be picking up. So heads up Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Belize, meanwhile, Rain chance starts to trend down, only about a 20 to 30% chance. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire mainly drive forward now, aside from a stray chance of a shower, but we swing back toward Guyana, an 80% chance of the rain, watching the flooding. Suriname, an 80% chance of the rain, watching that flooding. About a 40% chance of some spotty showers and storms, just as that uh, area to the north slides by Cuba. We're gonna watch out for a couple showers and storms today. 60% chance today, Costa Rica, and Panama and a 70% chance tomorrow. Rain chance about 40 to 50% in uh, Nicaragua. It goes down some by Thursday in Honduras. We're actually going to be drier. Just a 20% chance. Guatemala and El Salvador about a 50 to 60% chance of some of that rain. Mexico City we're on the dry side and really really heating up. We swing back toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Again that rain chance is on the lower side over the next several days. Northern Colombia 40 to 50% chance. 30 to 40% chance in northern Venezuela. Venezuela. And we'll watch out for some of the areas of rain, especially late tomorrow into Thursday, right around uh, Bermuda. So active pattern, no doubt things are going to be building. Watching that flood threat, that's about to go up. Multiple areas of rain that will be building in the Caribbean. Waiting on Alvin in the eastern Pacific. We'll see if that does spin up. And of course, monitoring that earthquake activity in the southeastern Caribbean and elsewhere. Watching that everywhere. We're just 19 days away to the start of the hurricane season. I hope you're having a good week so far. Have a wonderful day ahead.